There was a lot of on and off nice ice news going on in the National Hockey League this week, and we'll get to that right now. One of the ongoing stories has been the always contentious relationship between the Montreal Canadiens coach Claude Ruel and some of his various players, and at times all of them. Now, this is nothing new. Ruel always seems to be feuding with somebody on the team at any given time, and early in the week, Pat Curran of the Montreal Gazette possibly sensing a change was in the offing, wrote about Ruel's issues. Now, maybe Pat, well-connected to Montreal management, was sending a signal to fans that something was up. Curran wrote, no matter how badly their team is going, athletes don't want to be singled out as troublemakers. Thus, you won't read any quotes from the players about the problems of the Canadians who have been falling more and more after a fine start this season. Just take this from somebody close enough to the players to know. There's a lack of harmony between Claude Ruel and his charges. Serious enough for a motion that the coach must go or at least change his ways if the Habs are going to fare any better than their non-playoff finish last spring. Pat Curran knew the score, so did Habs management, and the inevitable move happened on Thursday morning when word came out that Claude Ruel was being replaced by assistant coach Al McNeil. Unlike Ruel, Al was a National Hockey League player for Toronto, Chicago, New York, Montreal, and Pittsburgh in the big league. He was never a a great star or anything like that, but he was good enough to be a solid player in a six-team NHL. He'd been honing his coaching skills in the Montreal organization for the past couple of years after retiring as a player. General Manager Sam Pollock said that he informed McNeil that Ruel was being let go and Al offered his resignation right away as well. Pollock surprised McNeil by refusing to accept said resignation and instead he asked Al to take over the team and he agreed to do so. Now this is a very complex, very interesting story about the legendary Canadians franchise and we will take a much deeper dive into all the facts around this in an upcoming bonus episode uh, of the 50 Years Ago on Hockey podcast for our Patreon subscribers and that'll happen in the very near future. Still with the Montreal organization, but nothing so uh, dramatic as a coaching change. The trainer and assistant trainer of the Montreal Voyageurs of the American Hockey League were charged with disorderly conduct in Providence, Rhode Island of all places after they became involved in a fracas with a fan who jumped onto the bench during an American Hockey League game. The fan, who was one of about a gang a half dozen who charged the Voyagers bench, apparently engaged in a fist fight with several of the Montreal players. The brawl then spilled onto the ice before it was finally broken up by local police. The trainers, Tim Joffrey, 21, and John Davis, 20, were charged for their part in the Donny Brook. No players were arrested, and there were no word if any of the fans faced any charges as well. 